Come up with that. It was like one of those moments I honestly was so excited. It was probably one of the funnest games I've ever played in, even the second half, but just the excitement for him, I just had to. Like coming up with that, I just had to, so what's this experience been like for you switching back and forth with quarterbacks and switching in drive? You know, is it tough for you? Is it is it fun for you? Is it easy? I mean what what's the experience like? I mean it's definitely fun. Like he was just saying it's I don't I've never really experienced like switching out of games like that, but Working together, it's something that like our relationship has definitely come to being fun with each other like that. So, how have you seen Jalen handle this? And a lot of guys, when someone else is kind of taking some of this playing time, maybe there's you know some issues and stuff. But it sounds like that he's handled this about as well as he could have. Yeah, no, he's definitely one of the bigger leaders on our team, and he's shown that by this reaction. I, I mean, I love it. Like his support for me and my my support for him, it's one of those things that just rubs off on each other. And I think the whole team's starting to see that as we came together in that second half and rallied together and were never out of the fight. But it was awesome. When the move was made, did he do anything to kind of reassure you, say, hey, we're good, man? Like, we're, or did, was that something that was just kind of always assumed? Oh, yeah. I mean, we have our relationship, obviously. So it was kind of one of those things that was assumed. But he did talk to me. I was like, hey, we're going to do this together. Like, we're going to battle together. So. How was, the, how was the moment never too big for you, Maddox? I mean, you've been thrown in some pretty crazy situations. And you, know, you almost have this, like, smile on your face half the time. So, like, how, how, does the, how was the moment never too big for you? I mean, I just, I feel like it's one of, like, a, he talked about a little bit like building the confidence like throughout the week like being thrown in those situations I had to have the confidence to go in and just being calm and being poised is I don't know specialty so it's something you have to experience. On that fourth and sixth uh, 44 yard line you guys are down 27 to 7. What, what's going through your mind is you guys have to have that play and you know Bush was saying you probably saw ahead of where you needed to go with that ball checking it down the road. Yeah, I mean, T obviously T. Grow's a playmaker, and it was one of those things, just going through the progression, and there were certain things that weren't open, and we talked all week, like, they're going to play a soft defense. Like, they're one of the better uh, pass defenses in the country, and they're going to play a soft defense. So using those check downs, and I mean, it never really, like, hit me that it was like a fourth and six. Like obviously I knew down in distance, but fourth and six, like a check down was gonna get us six yards. And especially knowing going to T. Crow, like stepping in at a big moment and making a play, like that's just T. Crow, so. It's one thing to come in for like a full drive, but you're coming in on the first third down of the game. I mean, you know, there's some big spots where you're coming in. I mean, what's, what's that like for you? Is that, is that harder, I guess, than if, if it's mid drive like that to come in for, for a key play? Or we saw the, the play at the end of the game as well. Yeah, no, it was, I mean, it definitely is different. Like I said, it's just super different. But we talked like we have to do what's best for the team. And at that moment, just stepping in, doing what I have to do. Um, I mean, yeah, it's one of those things, you know. So you're standing there, and all of a sudden, say they send you in or they send him in. Do they send you in with the play? What's what's? How does it sort of shake down? I mean, it looked like it, it would. It was basically situational how they put people in. Yeah, I think I think Bush has a really good idea of what he's doing before the play. So just like. Uh, I think we had Max Cutforth on his headset was like, hey, teaching the game, Maddox in the game, just sending each other in and out. And we'd get the play from the signal still, but mm -hmm. we'd just be sent in at that moment. You might look a little, like, I don't know, outside it might look like confusing or, or trying to find a rhythm. But how, how important is the communication, I guess, inside, you know, yours is room right now and what's being asked of each of you, you, know, you or Taylor, how, how important is that right now? Yeah, it's definitely to a premium. I mean, other people in the country are obviously doing this two-quarterback system, and we're new to it, but I think we found our rhythm, and it's, like you said, the communication between each and every one of us. Like, it's definitely at a higher level right now. You're not the biggest guy in the world, but you're obviously not shy about running the ball. I mean, what's it like carrying the ball in the middle where there's 300 pounders trying to rip your head off? I mean, those two rush rushes, definitely, I was like, I had to get, like, where I was. I mean, the touchdown, I wasn't just going to slide. Like, I had to go into the end zone. So, I mean, I learned... I learned a lot from TG. I mean, he just talked about the skill sets of like rubbing off on each other as a rusher. Like, we t we've talked about those skill sets, and so it was one of those things like just rushing, going. I mean, putting my body on the line for this team to score a touchdown. I know uh, Bush and Andy had a meeting with TG to tell them the decision. Where was that? Were you in on that same meeting, or did they have a separate meeting with you, or did you find out a, a different way? Or? No, I wasn't. I wasn't on the meeting, but I had a conversation with Bush and Coach Av talked about it. So. How would you describe your relationship with Taylor and how bad of a golfer is he? Or <laughs> I mean, he? he definitely doesn't have the prettiest swing, but he was the only one that made the putt out there today. So me and Bush kind of laughed about it, but our relationship's awesome. I mean, from like last year is definitely like has grown immensely. And even this last week, like me and him have just gotten closer and closer. So you're you the one calling Tiger Woods? <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> he was like Tiger Woods though. <laughs> you know, what, type, what type of leader are you? 
and are you assuming the role to be one of the leaders on this team now? I know you just got here last year, but you're playing a lot of quarterback now. Yeah, I, I mean, like you said, the quarterback. I think it comes with the position. Like, growing up as a quarterback, I felt like the leadership is a big thing, and I lead by example with confidence and stuff like that. Confidence is super contagious, so, and I know it's, like, big right now, going in and out of plays. He's really good at being confident, and, like, those guys seeing the confidence, and if it's a huddle, like, the play call with confidence and all those certain things. So, he was thrown into the fire last year. Obviously, a little bit of a different situation this year. But you know, what do you learn from him? You know, from watching him last year, and was he taught you about kind of being thrown into the fire for you this year? Yeah, he. I remember last year in a moment, he uh, like later in the season, he kind of grabbed me, um, and he was like, "Hey, like you're like gonna be able to play sometime in this like this program." And so like him talking to me about like instilling confidence was definitely a big thing. After how productive you guys were in the last game, and maybe some questions leading into it, how much confidence does get, that give you to, for, to go throughout the season, especially this week? It's I mean, I think that was, it's super, super difficult to prepare for one quarterback, let alone two. With two different skill sets like Taylor and I, that, I mean, he can throw the ball really well. And like, I mean, for a little bit like rushing, I feel like I can do that just as, so it's like one of those things that people can't prepare for two quarterbacks. So it's definitely gonna, it's super powerful. It's a super powerful system and we'll all work together to uh, be the best at it for sure. I don't know whether you can hear the other team, but do you hear them communicating who's in? Do they make comments, the San Jose team like, Okay, we got somebody new in the game this no, time. No, I haven't heard no, anything you, about you that. Can't, you can't yeah. hear on the other yeah. side of the line. Yeah, I don't really hear that. Max, I mean, you've been over down your whole career, right? Right. We, we kind of asked you about it, but when they start trying to like stunt or take away throwing lanes or things like that, like how, how do you overcome things like that, I guess? I mean, how do you stay a step ahead? Right, yeah. I think like a big part of it's timing of certain things. And a lot of times, like the wide receivers will joke, like I threw a ball and they didn't see me, but they just saw the ball flying. And it's like, uh, we build it weekly about like the anticipation of where guys are going to be and where the ball needs to be as well. And I, I mean, I feel like I've learned as to play quarterback, like throwing around guys, it's very hard to throw over people, especially that have inches on you. So, as weird, as weird as it sounds, do you think it also adds to your anticipation as a thrower? Out of the two, that seems like an area where you, you, you excel at throwing the space or just having that anticipation. Yeah, definitely anticipation. And I, I was like, I was taught that at a young age in high school, like the anticipation is a big thing. And so like anticipating where guys are going to be, when they need to be there. And it's built out there. So for sure. The story that I'm working on kind of during the bye week, you know, NCAA football is coming back next year for the, the video game, you know, just how cool will that be for you to be able to play as yourself? And, you know, is that something you're kind of looking forward to? I mean, yeah, I think it's fun. I'm not a big video game guy, but it's probably something that I might have to purchase. Like that's, that's fun. Like that's definitely fun for sure. Thank you.